offer agreements. Pro basketball journey has taken him to faraway lands like France, Belgium, and Israel. It's also led the amazing personal growth for Rachel. Once shy and quiet in front of people, Ray Ray overcame severe dyslexia to earn a college degree. He is now an accomplished public speaker. Clip your wings and shoot you down But it's okay to keep in on these lows As long as you know Just make sure you know Yeah, who you Y'all was like my brothers, I considered y'all's folks And I remember nights sipping liquor, making toast Talking about the life, trying to get it slinging dope What you're watching right now Symbolizes a lot more than a young kid stopping at the corner store on the way to the park. Sour, sour. Nah, I don't want it. Oh, man, my man, how you doing, man? Good to see you, man. How you big, huh? That's good, that's good. What's going on, man? All right, I've known you since you was a little kid, man. Yeah, man. I ain't way taller than me. For some of us, this walk to the park led to something else. No matter what city you're from, no matter what sport you play, when you were younger, at some point, you was taking the same walk to the park. This is Jerry Burrell Park, located on Hamilton Hill, Schenectady, New York. You either came here and got better, or you came here and tried to play, and got embarrassed and never came back. This is the famous Schenectady Zone Jerry Burrell Basketball League. It's been going on for so long, man. You know, this, this used to showcase some of the best basketball players that Upstate had to offer. All I can remember is about four, or five, six hundred people out here, man, supporting the youth, music, playing, food being sold, cars, cars parked, people, people fronting for the girls and all that. Like, it was crazy, man. It was just a good atmosphere for a kid trying to get exposure. As you can see, the league itself took a little hit, you know, throughout the years. But I want to shout out Willie Dean and his family for continuing the tradition, you know, and trying to keep it going. They're doing the best that they can to keep the league going for the kids so the kids can have something to look forward to throughout the summer. Like, it was one point in time it's connected to where it was so much talent out here, man. Like... You know, it you know, it turned some kids away because they was intimidated to play out here. You know? Every every team had about 10, 10 or twelve guys on it, you know, and about six of them was it. Like, like they were a problem. So, you know, there was no room for error. Like if you wasn't good, like you probably wasn't even gonna get in the game. Basketball players dream at one point started from either turning on a TV, seeing an NBA game, or seeing a college game, or a high school game. Well, my dreams of playing basketball started right here, looking through this same fence. Seeing, seeing so much talent in my own hometown, wanting to get a chance to go out there and play and showcase what I can do. Like, my dream started right here, right in this park. Yo, I'm telling you, when you step on this court, four, four, five hundred people out here, music playing, Girls watching you, everybody watching you. Man, if you wasn't ready, it's better off that you never even stepped on the court. Because you was bound to get embarrassed. It was like, it was, it was real tough for me when I was growing up because it was like, I didn't really know or see anybody successful, you know? So for me to dream big was, wasn't real realistic. You know, like my dreams was to, you know, Drive a nice car, wear nice clothes, you know, just just things that had nothing to do with the real world. Like that's what I wanted because that's what I seen. Like that's what I thought success was. Having money, having girls, looking, looking flashy and all of that. Like I was detached from reality based off of the things that I seen every day. 